Let me bring you songs from the wood to make you feel much better than you could know. Hi guys, I had did an article on um, some armed guards guarding um, a place in Wisconsin near the Pin Pinocchi Hills and uh, near some reservations. And um, they were armed, you know, with semi-automatic weapons against the eco-terrorists. Now, I'm going to tell you what the eco-terrorists did. They took a camera from one of the guys. They also protested outside peacefully of the mining site because there is absolutely no rules on what these people can do, thanks to their governor. And um, where they're dumping the water, it's, it's a shame. Uh, the protesters also planted a garden nearby. We'll see what happens with that garden. I don't believe they'll be eating any of the food. Um, I think the garden won't grow. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to read you this article, article because now a militia is guarding the, um, the mine site instead of uh, this other big, big security firm that guards, and they have the highest tech uh, equipment, this other security firm. So they, they may still be them using the logos of the uh, militia group. Nobody really knows. But nevertheless, they're, they're armed heavily, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. And a governor there in Wisconsin is going to tell you a belly full of lies and line his pockets full of gold and contaminate your watershed. So here we go. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. This is a picture of the new guy. The newest um, armed guards, I believe. Or is this the old one? No, this is the new one. Um, this is a debate over a proposed open pit iron ore mine in northern Wisconsin. Went from heated to outright bizarre last week when mass guards brandishing assault rifles showed up at the site in the remote and scenic wilderness of the Pinocchio Hills. Local activist Rob Ganson, I did a, a video on him. He took um, pictures of the site um, with his camera and left and even offered him to come and have some fry bread. He, did, he just wanted to show that they were out there. Um, after they determined the guards work for the Arizona-based Bulletproof Security, Ganson and other activists posted their photos and gar of the guards online. Bulletproof Security um, has the state-of-the-art newest equipment available to them. In Arizona, they're using it. They're harassing the, the, the Tohono Otham uh, tribe very much um, and probably other people. Um, they, they're, they're placed along the border, and they seem to be ha hassling the Native Americans more than doing anything else. They also work with um, the Border Patrol agents, and they're just kind of a nasty firm, if you want. I think they're a bunch of, um, what, do, what do you call those, mercenaries. Okay, but last Wednesday, the mining camp, GTAC for short, a subsidiary, sub, subsidiary of the West Virginia-based Klein Group, pulled the armed guards after finding the security firm lacked permits to work in the state. A spokesman for the company has said that the bulletproof guards will be back once they're properly licensed. One of the activists in the area, however, told Mother Jones on Monday that a new group of armed guards, including one whose shirt both <clears throat> bore the insignia for the Watchmen of America, a militia group, active in at least 21 states, was on patrol last Thursday. Can you... A militia group protecting a corporation? Now, you know, you, you're going to have to question that one yourself. The day after GTAC pulled the bulletproof guards, a militia shows up to, to you know... Mm. A spokesman for GTAC said that the guards are necessary to protect its worker from eco-terrorists. Now, the eco-terrorist is this mining company. The company pointed to the incident in June when the the protesters or the eco-terrorist had a confrontation with workers. One of the eco-terrorists allegedly took a worker's camera, but most of the, the protester actions around the mine have been peaceful. Local tribes planted a small garden nearby, and others are leading educational tours on the ecology of the region. 
Now, Governor Scott Walker, Walker signed sweeping changes to the state's mining regulations into law in March, thus allowing the mine to move forward. The new law, which creates a separate set of laws for taconite mining, abbreviates the permitting process, reduces the number of opportunities for public comment, and weaken, weakens rules on dumping mine waste into wetlands and waterways. It also reallocates mining revenues that previously went to local communities in the state's Economic Development Corporation. And though that's where they moved it into. A problem plague program Walker created in 2011 to spur job growth in the state. GTAC worked closely with lawmakers to draft this legislation, so the corporation drafted the legislation. Proponents of the law argue that it will generate new jobs in the state. Yeah, for some militiamen. Um, but environmental groups argue that the law set a bad precedent for environmental regulations more broadly. Basically, almost every envir environmental protection and public health protection you could think of is eliminated under the bill. Um, tribal groups are too worried about the impacts on the area, which is surrounded by wetlands, rivers, lakes, that drain down into the Bad River and eventually into Lake Superior. The mining waste they fear will leach chemicals like sulfuric acid into the groundwater and waterways. If the mining company is allowed to proceed unfettered, I think that this would have an this would be an atrocity here in the watershed. Um, and that was by Mike Wiggins. He's chairman of the Bad River Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians. The Bad River Reservation lies about six miles north of this proposed mine site. So, uh, what's happening on, there's an update though on this. They're going to continue doing this and there's not a damn thing any of you can do unless everybody banded together and went up there and, and did something. Now, the, this Mike Freebird, he's a CEO and he's a corporation too of the Watchmen of America said that the new guards are not working for his organization because you can buy the patches and logos. Um, but I, I actually think since he's a corporation too, the Watchmen of America are, <clears throat> they've got a CEO, I think they are guarding it in my opinion. So now your militia are guarding um, the, the um, site. And there's not a damn thing you can do where they're going to dump the water. So... Um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. If you live near that area, I suggest you get with some people and start protesting this because without water, we're all screwed. And I love you all. Peace, love, and truth. Linda is out.